hi uh, my name is uh, vishal rain and uh, in this video i would like to talk about uh, some tools in surfaces menu so to start with i would like to go with the planar uh, all the tools here need a curve uh, which drives the geometry so i'll just uh, go to the top view and then use uh, a cv curve tool here and uh, very purposefully i just create a curve and this curve is a uh, open curve and uh, I just uh, select the curve and then apply planar mapping uh, without any uh, changes in it and you see the curve uh, has not generated any geometry there uh, but if I go to the curve section and then choose this uh, tool called open and close curve that will close the curve and then you get the geometry there uh, the point I want to make here is a uh, planar tool gives me a plane a very flat geometry uh, and uh, to create a geometry out of a curve the condition is the curve should be a closed curve and then um, all the points here uh, what we have got right now all the points here should lie on one plane by any chance if I if the points are or not on the plane and then when we apply the tool uh, we apply the planar the tool does not give me any model and if I select all the vertices and then scale in y axis and when they are lined up on a plane and then you get the geometry there uh, not only that um, let me first do the center pivot and then uh, put that on the grid mm, because I just want to uh, use some more curves there so uh, a circle okay and uh, let me put another circle and then another circle okay so I select all of the circles here some of them are inside and some uh, one circle is uh, going half the way outside then I'll apply the planar and then you see the result so this model uh, has not given me a perfect shape um, and if I just uh, take it inside then you get something like that uh, the resultant model is a three degree NURB surface um, and uh, uh, we have some points which we can select and then move them if we wanted to uh, edit the geometry and um, I'll just open the channel box and we have a degree of the curve one is a linear where the points are um, pretty much the hard uh, corner one So we got a geometry which is outside uh, the planar and it is taking a plane and trimming off actually. So that plane has been come up out of the circle there. And um, if you select this plane, you will have a new component on it called a trimmed edge which you can select. And this particular edge can be considered as a curve and uh, you can basically use them. Uh, to model something let's say uh, we can apply a loft and build a geometry between that two um, so the majorly uh, the condition is uh, the curve should be closed and uh, next point is they should lie on uh, coplanar axis and uh, I'll delete the planar and then select everything and then open the planar and uh, we have the degree uh, we can also make a polygonal result out of it if we want or we can um, uh, also use a partial not the complete range of the curve to be in involved in the planar tool so uh, there are four curves so I've got four sub curves I can press T on the keyboard and then edit the range uh, of this curve to be involved in this um, 
so we can generally um, select any of the trimmed surfaces there and then try to edit them uh, though uh, if I just move it technically this part only should uh, participate in the planar as I said uh, there is a condition that whatever you take that shape uh, should be a closed shape but this is a open shape that's the reason this curve has been uh, rejected in the planar uh, tool so that's a problem here so um, so if I just use a, a CV curve tool with the default settings and then use uh, different lines there and uh, they are lying on the plane as I said and uh, okay uh, if you see uh, this is the shape I just put that into a layer and then give it a color and uh, we could see it clearly so let's see uh, what this geometry this curves will uh, end up so just uh, reset everything and use the partial and then create okay so these are all uh, curves which have been involved in this uh, so if you see we have sub curve and then uh, we can press T and then make them involved um, And then when we disable that, uh, this part and that part is considered. As I said, uh, you are uh, rejecting that from that um, particular tool. So it's it's not considering this curve, uh, sorry, this curve in the planar. So there's a closed shape and there we got a geometry there. So planar tool, uh, quite useful uh, when we are building architectural uh, patterns let's see revolve tool here so we have this uh, surfaces menu and we have the revolve tool anything which uh, uh, which uh, which you create on lathe machine or pottery wheel uh, you can create such models using revolve tool so we have uh, some settings here so let's keep it to the default and then uh, if you see there's the axis preset of Y uh, so what I have to do is I have to come into the front view and draw something here so I'm uh, using a curve tool and uh, it is a CV curve tool uh, I'm using the default settings and then uh, one point I'm putting at the grid point and then I'm just uh, creating a shape there Uh, I'm, I'm just creating a roughly a vase like shape and uh, if you see this uh, is a half of uh, the side view of the vase uh, maybe it's not correct uh, it's okay uh, I can edit once I have even created the geometry out of it so firstly we need to know about uh, the axis uh, if you see I'm rotating this curve in Y axis so the way it is rotating and uh, throughout the journey uh, the, the geometry will be generated whereas if I just put X axis in which direction this geometry is rotating I get the geometry and Z also I get accordingly that I'll show you how it works so I go to the surfaces revolve and I said this is Y axis in which I am rotating this curve so I need to choose the Y here without touching anything I just create it now you see uh, you got a waste model as I said if I have gone wrong here I can select the curve just uh, by clicking that and then right click choose the control vertex and then start editing the shape okay uh, I can um, move the points uh, and then edit the overall shape of the uh, model uh, because the model is uh, driven by 
uh, the curve there. So uh, if I select the curve and then uh, move that curve, uh, still the pivot point from where the revolve has been uh, achieved uh, st will stay there only but the curve will move apart and the result uh, will be affected accordingly. Um, let's say if I uh, select the curve and then uh, in revolve tool if I uh, use the um, a pivot option and then alter the pivot then uh, the pivot point will be moved uh, from the more uh, uh, from the existing position for example in x uh, I'll put a value of minus 2 so the pivot point will be here uh, because uh, the existing pivot is here so minus 2 units in x axis would be here and then I get the result accordingly now you see the pivot point is here not there um, so we can alter the pivot uh, we can use the objects pivot or we can precisely tell that uh, this is the object and this many units away the pivot of the curve is there from where you need to generate the model so uh, there is also a free axis uh, in which uh, the curve has to be rotated like I, I don't want to rotate in very odd uh, axis so I'm going to choose uh, y value 1 and z value 1 and then apply now you see a 45 degree angle uh, between y and z and then you got a very weird uh, shape there uh, so uh, that's uh, how this axis uh, free will work and um, pivot point uh, can be also customized and then we have uh, surface degree which is uh, linear and uh, cubic uh, linear will give me uh, a hard cornered uh, straight line model there mm. the length of the curve is not uh, in linear because that is driven by the curve what you have taken if the curve is linear I would have got the linear in the length also uh, so there are two types one is the linear and another one is the cubic degree curve uh, once you have created there is a sweep angle which you can also edit from the channel box we have a start sweep uh, where the starting of the geometry is at zero degree and then it gives a result of 360 degree if I put a value of 180 degree so from zero it goes to 180 and if I put 90 as my start and uh, 180 as my end so 90 to 180 and uh, these values are animatable you can animate them and make something uh, created in transforming effect um, and also if you see uh, the sections which is the axis sections 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 six seven and eight uh, we can uh, also edit them uh, we can click use more uh, sections or uh, the default one is uh, eight so we can edit that also the resultant model can be uh, in uh, the polygon result if you are not okay with the nerves uh, and uh, we have a, a partial or complete so I'm going to choose that as well so if I choose the partial and then create and uh, you have sub curve one where you can uh, tell only part of the curve uh, I want uh, the geometry to be generated okay uh, so I can say 0 0.25 to 0 0.6 of the curve should give me the model uh, so that's uh, how this maximum uh, minimum value works and uh, we have this uh, uh, precision thing uh, here uh, if I just uh, enable the use tolerance and then increase that tolerance uh, you should basically see the quality of the geometry is pretty low 
and then we are getting the high quality uh, curve there so when we are creating this uh, a revolve tool we have uh, a none tolerance which is working on the segments we have local tolerance which works on a control uh, and the global tolerance which uh, is uh, a global setting which works for the whole Maya scene that setting will be taken automatically here so revolve tool yeah uh, there are a lot of models which you can build up with the revolve tool a pot a tumbler jag a bulb a lantern or anything of that kind where you create things with lathe machine or pot reveal you can create with this particular tool called revolve